Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I'm the Mathematic Plumber. And today, I welcome you to the Yoke Vent series. Video one in the Yoke Vent series is going to cover general code requirements. All code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. Before watching this video, please watch the Vent Stack series. The Yoke Vent builds off of the Vent Stack, and if you don't know what a Vent Stack actually is, you need to find out first. The purpose of a Yoke Vent is very similar to that of a Vent Stack. It limits pressure buildup inside the soil waste stack. A yoke vent will generally be found on a high rise building with multiple floors. If we look at this picture here, we're gonna see a building with multiple stories. Now this building will require yoke vents. Let's look at some requirements to find out where they need to go and what they need to look like. Code clause 2543 part one. Except as provided in sentence four, where a soil waste stack receives the discharge from fixtures located on more than 11 stories, a yoke vent shall be installed for each section of five stories or part thereof counted from the top down and at or immediately above each offset or double offset. Well, if I look at this picture, I'm going to see a bunch of branch drains connected up onto the right hand side of the soil waste stack. If I count those up, I actually have 13 and each one of those represents a floor or a story of a building. If I have more than 11 of those, I need yoke fence. Well, I have 13, that is more than 11. So what I wanna do is start at the top of the building and start counting those branch drain connections all the way down to the fifth one. And it's labeled out for you as number five. Now right at that fifth drain connection, let's put in a yoke vent. It should look something like this. Now from that yoke vent connection, I'm gonna count down a further five connections or five floors. And I'm gonna put in another yoke vent. It's gonna look exactly like this. Now from that last yoke vent, if I continue to count stories down, you're gonna find out I only have three more stories before I get to the vent stack. I do not need another yoke vent there. I already have the vent stack. Now part B of that clause talks about an offset or a double offset. We are not gonna worry about that in this video series. We're gonna cover that in offset relief vents. Clause 2543 part two. The yoke vent shall be connected to the soil waste stack by means of a drainage fitting at or immediately below the lowest soil waste pipe from the lowest story of the sections described in sentence one. Now let's simplify that by looking at this picture here. So the yoke vent needs to get tied into the soil waste stack. We're going to first look at at the drainage connection. So I've got the drainage from this floor and I'm going to use a double Y right there and I'm going to connect the yoke vent out the other side of the double Y. And I can also connect immediately below. If I look at this picture, the yoke vent is coming off just below the drainage connection. So I have two separate Y's that are joined one above the other. 2543 part three. The yoke vent shall connect to the vent stack at least one meter above the floor level of the lowest story in the section described in sentence one. Well, in the same picture, we have the yoke vent coming up across and we're gonna pretend it's inside a wall and it connects into the vent stack. Notice how it is one meter minimum above the floor level when it connects into the vent stack. Now the fourth and final clause will be covered in the next video. The next video is about yoke vent sizing. And until then, you have yourself a great day.